Hello, welcome to the Center for Cities research presentation. I'm Nimali, one of the research assistant of the Center for Cities. Uh, let me um, give you a brief introduction to the center. So, Center for Cities is uh, one of the interdisciplinary research arms of the Northern University. Uh, it maintains a rich connection between the research, academic, and the practice in the fields of uh, urban designing, planning, conservation, environmental management, transportation, construction, facilities management, house, housing, landscape, real estate, uh, land use surveying and uh, so many other fields. So uh, there are uh, six main objectives of the center and the first one is to act as a knowledge hub with physical archives, databases, referencing libraries related to urban design and management. The second objective of the center is to strengthen the research collaboration with esteemed local and international organizations, institutes uh, to address prevailing issues related to urban public realm. And the third objective is to facilitate the inter-university and inter-institutional activities among the related academic and professional institution uh, and to act as a central coordinating body. The fourth objective is, uh, is uh, the Center for City aims to act as a platform for research to um, promote debate and disseminate knowledge and information to parties required. And the fifth objective is to act as a pioneer uh, organization uh, to promote development of more diverse and creative approach to reinterpret, reuse and manage the uh, scarce urban resources including tangible and in intangible heritage. And the last objective is to serve the public through um, research and uh, conducting research conducting research on high density and mega cities uh, to um, address the issues that are of high urbanization and but there are uh, many activities conducted by the center for cities i will walk you uh, walk you uh, briefly and the first one is the urban talks webinar series uh, every month on the third um, week or uh, first third week uh, urban talk is uh, conducted with the participation of uh, many local and uh, international experts and keynote uh, speakers where, where uh, it opened up a platform to discuss the issues related to urban public realm. Uh, some of these issues related to local condition and some of these uh, or issues are uh, coming from the foreign abroad, uh, abroad foreign um, countries. And uh, the Center for Cities um, is conducting is um, annually conducting the international conference on cities people and places and for the past eight years we were able to do this as an annual activity and uh, in 2020 we did the eighth international uh, urban design conference through zoom uh, platform due to this uh, travel restriction and lockdown of countries and the main theme of the uh, conference was cities in distress COVID-19 pandemic and its impact in cities and we were able to get, attract a lot of scholars who research in the area and uh, who produce uh, um, a lot of uh, valuable materials and we were able to out a conference proceeding that discusses a lot of issues that related to COVID-19 and um, public health. So these are some of the photographs that we took from the uh, conference and the other activity that is conducted by uh, Center for City is that it maintains uh, a, a journal, a, an international journal called Cities, People and Places. And every year we are trying to actually um, issue two volumes uh, containing valuable materials and uh, some of the high quality materials that we uh, get we are collecting from the international international conference of cities people and places so we are in, inviting the authors to write for this uh, journal as well and the other one is uh, this working paper series that we are uh, maintaining um, 
biannually. And uh, the expert expertise um, expert people that who are related to center for cities are um, always um, try to contribute their knowledge to the uh, betterment of the Sri Lanka, the betterment of the urban uh, setting of Sri Lanka. So number of uh, interviews are given and number of uh, uh, newspaper articles are produced by uh, their contribution. These are some of the examples. And uh, these days, the main event that is conducted, the main activity of the Center for Cities is to um, uh, is to conduct this uh, World Bank funded AHIT project, uh, which is titled Assessing Urban Safety, Security and Comfort of the Public Realm for Sustainable Urbanization. So uh, there are uh, 10 uh, participants in this project and five, five act as the supervisors and there are five research assistants to do the uh, research works. So the di director of the Center for Cities, uh, Dr. Uh, John Kaviji Sundara, act, act as the director of the project as well, and Dr. Na Prod, sorry, Professor Nainatara De Silva from Building Economics Department, uh, act as the deputy director of the project, and uh, Dr. Chandra Sekare, Dr. UGD uh, Virasinka, and senior lecturer architect uh, uh, Janaka Dharma Sena are all of our uh, supervisors who uh, direct the research assistant to achieve their aims and objectives. So, uh, as I explained earlier, there are five research assistants. The first one is uh, Gratri Kaushalya. She is pursuing her MPhil while doing acting as a research assistant as well. And the second one is uh, Nimali, myself. I am pursuing her PhD here and doing my research as well and the third member is Kravasi Sanayaka is also registered for Enfield and the fourth one is um, Aranya Kumari, Gur Kumari Gurupara and she also pursuing a PhD while contributing to the project as well and our newest member is uh, Vidushan uh, Vijay Sundaran uh, he, he has registered for um, MSc and contributing to the project as a, a part-time research assistant. So, uh, based on the use of vulnerabilities that we identified through conducting a comprehensive literature study and doing some um, uh, public surveys, we were able to identify four thematic areas that need to address to ensure the safety and comfort of urban public realm. So, those thematic areas are physical safety and comfort, maintainability for safety and comfort, psychological safety and comfort, and outdoor, outdoor thermal comfort. So those areas are handled by a uh, research assistant, and the aim of this research is to um, assess the urban safety and comfort of public realm of Sri Lanka through a multifaceted model or approach. So research ob objectives are set at uh, identifying the vulnerabilities of users in relation to public realm design measures, identifying establishing the criteria and parameters relevant to four thematic areas which are physical, psychological, microclimate and maintainability to assess the user comfort, safety in urban public realm and developing an assessment model assessment models for each thematic area and evaluating the safety and comfort levels of urban public realm of Colombo to validate the uh, developed assessment models. So as research outcomes we are um, expected to have expect to have a um, proper assessment model that we that can be used uh, to assess the existing conditions and to identify the areas of development and to conduct a, to do a case study assessment like to assess the urban risk factors using Colombo as a case in relation to elements of public realm as realm uh, such as streets, intersections um, and uh, parks and playgrounds and natural and semi-natural spaces and squares and uh, other civic spaces and to produce design guidelines to facilitate the stakeholder organization like Colombo Municipal Council, um, 
Urban Development Authority, Road Development Authority, um, NBRO, uh, these are CEDA, uh, so they can uh, use these guidelines when creating policies and when enforcing laws and regulations. So uh, right now we are at the stage of conducting case studies. We need categorized our as um, if we if I be briefly explain the steps that we have followed, we uh, categorize the public realm into four main elements like histories, parks, squares and plazas, natural and semi-natural spaces. Then uh, we identified the main components of each part public realm relevant to each thematic area. Then we identified the criteria of assessment under each thematic area and their parameters and we collect uh, we collected local, regional, and international standards and best practices related to those indicators and parameters. And we were able to establish a scoring model. And we were able to um, discuss this model uh, with uh, local experts and foreign experts as well, get their uh, valuable feedback and to improve our model. And right now, to validate this model, we are conducting uh, more than 22, uh, more than 20, um, case studies surrounding the Columbia Municipal Council area and our final outcome was to be the established model and several guidelines under physical, thermal, psychological and maintenance thematic area. So uh, to do this, um, to conduct this uh, project successfully, we have, we obtained a lot of uh, lab, lab equipment. Some of these are uh, included. Some of these are uh, the weather station to collect climate data and the environment software to simulate and identify the optimum condition for to ensure the thermal comfort to the urban users and uh, reflectometers to measure the reflectivity of these materials to identify whether they are physically comfort and thermally comfort and lux meter to measure the illumination of the street lights so it can we can identify whether there are um, areas to improve, whether they are enough or adequate, and um, profile meter, and there's some um, uh, damp, uh, damp measuring meters, and so on. We have about 20 lab equipments to conduct the conduct this research project successfully. And uh, during the course of this project, we were able to uh, disseminate the knowledge that we gathered to industry and we were able to get their valuable feedback and to improve our study as well. So some, these are some of the activities that we, did, uh, we conducted. So first we did a physical stakeholder meeting with stakeholder institutes and we were able to um, uh, like we were able to get um, their opinions uh, their ideas of our research, we were able to correct our research aim, our objectives and to uh, address uh, issues that were brought to us by them and then we did an online expert discussion with the local expertise to uh, show them our developed conceptual model and uh, get their feedback and to um, modify it and also we, after doing that we conducted uh, online expert discussion with foreign experts and get that uh, get the model validated. Uh, sorry for the disturbance. So uh, these are uh, first few photographs of our research assistant uh, collecting data on the sites. Uh, and through this project, we were able to uh, achieve a higher number of uh, key, key performance indicators in terms of publications. So. Uh, we were able to publish seven uh, working papers, 30 number of communication abstract to um, reputable international conferences and so on. And we were able to publish two uh, national, confer uh, national conference papers. Uh, we were able to produce 22 international conference papers and to present all those papers in uh, those conferences. And we produced five peer-reviewed national journal papers. And um, uh, these days, that uh, we have already submitted three peer-reviewed international index journals for reputable journals, and we are um, awaiting the uh, 
uh, review results and uh, uh, those activities are actually conducted by the Centre for Cities and thank you for listening.